Hello, in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate you a brand new way to create your Helidon applications directly from our web page using our project starter. So please proceed to our official website called Helidon.io, where at the top you will see a new button called Starter. Press on it and it will open a page with a step-by-step -step guide for creating a Helidon application. You can choose the version of your Helidon, should it be 2 or 3. We will choose 3 for this example. And now let us select our Helidon flavor. We will use Helidon MP for this application. You can choose from ready templates like Quick Start and Database Example, or you can create a fully custom project. We will you choose Custom. For example, if we need JSON processing with JSONB, we just choose JSONB with this checkbox. If we need observability features like health checks, metrics and tracing, we just click on the checkboxes and choose implementations for that. We click next and we come to the security questions. If our application needs to be secured, we can choose different authentication providers like OIDC, JOT, Google Login, or HTTP Signature. So click on the boxes you need and choose next. We can also choose different extra features like fault tolerance or core support. So just click next. And here we come to the packaging and deployment tab where we can choose options for Docker support. For example, if our application needs to be built with GraalVM native image as a Docker image, we just tick on this box. And if we will deploy our application Kubernetes, just click on the Kubernetes support. And if we need to use Verizano manifest, just click Verizano. Next. And here finally we come to the questions for a database. If our application needs to talk to a database, we just tick on this database support and choose different JPA implementations, connection pools, providers, and database drivers. So finally we click next and we come to the project group ID and active ID. Please pay attention to the URL. As we click on our boxes, it automatically populates this URL with different options. So you can just copy this URL and share it with somebody, some friend or colleague, and it will generate absolutely the same project for him as well. Now, if we press the download button, we will receive a zip file with our project. Now, if we unzip the file with a utility and open it with our favorite IDE, you will see that it has created a fully functional project with all the requirements we need, with even some simple code, like for this greeting application. As you see, it has Docker file for a native image, it has application YAML descriptor, all as we ticked. This also applies to our updated CLI tool. You can generate a custom projects also using our Helidon init command. So let us create one. For example, we want to create a Helidon MP project, and now you have the option to create a custom project. As you see, we can choose the very same way for our JSONB support for Jackson. We can choose observability features, health checks, tracing. We can also choose the security options. We can choose extra features like fault tolerance and cores. We can choose whether we need Docker support, Kubernetes support, Verizano support or not. And we can choose if we want to talk to database or not. The very same way we just create our group ID, artifact ID and version and package name. And it also asks us if we want to start our development loop. We'll say no this time. And it has created a custom MP uh, folder for us containing all the features we have selected for our project. So we open it in our favorite EDE. And here we can see what has been selected and what has been generated. As you see, we just generated a very basic project without any Docker support, without any features like uh, health support, etc., etc. So the POM file is really small and it contains only the stuff we need.
Now, with this Helidon project starter, you can create really custom Helidon applications with only the features you need. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.